So this is right outside my work here. There's a, a big rose hip bush here. It's probably it's taller than me. It's got to be seven, eight, almost nine feet, and there is berries all over it. So what I did was I picked a whole bunch, and there's just so much left. I'm not going to stay here for hours picking picking rose hips, but this is what I got in just a few minutes. So there's there's quite a bit in there. I'm going to let them dry out. We're gonna crush them up a little bit, grab the seeds, get the seeds out of them, and then we're just gonna we're gonna cold stratify them right in the ground this year, just like I was doing before. But we'll show you more of that when we get to the farm, and we'll see if it's actually warm enough to actually dig a little bit of a scrape, a little bit of dirt up, uh, depending on how cold it is, and then we'll uh, get them in the ground. So stay tuned. All right, we're just I know it's a snowstorm. Buffalo has been known to get another six feet of snow. They're shutting down the city. We're getting some lake effect here, uh, but I, I thought I'd take the time to come out here and throw some tarps over my pumpkin patch so that in the spring the, the uh, weeds will be all kind of killed off. So we got this far, but it's pretty windy. I think we're going to take a break and we'll back tomorrow. Uh, here's my winter wonderland. Just going to head up and uh, feed the goats and give them some water, fresh water. Is like to freeze a lot, so let's get up there. Yeah, they're just eating their lunch. Oh, he stinks so bad. You better be impregnating every one of these girls, boy. Make me proud. He's a good boy, buddy. He stinks, and uh, they're all they're all good goats, though, for the most part. They're pretty good. Everybody's got to have a few goats on the farm. All right, so here's my score. Uh, they're still a little soft to the touch, but we want to dry them out. And what I did was I usually just let them dry. I put them near the uh, near the vent so with the sun coming on, or the, sorry, the winter coming on here. I just put it near the vent. It'll probably dry them out a lot quicker. But what we want to do is these are from last year is we want to get them nice and hard. We want them to be hard like this with a shell on the front like that so that they almost break. There you go, see how that broke. And you want to watch these little hairs that are on the seeds because they'll itch like crazy if they get on you. They're, uh, they use that stuff for itching powder. I mentioned that in my other video. But see, once I do all of this and I take this, what I'm going to do is I'll take a little hammer or something and kind of break them up a little bit so that the seeds will come out. And I will, I will spread these. Um, uh, it, it seems to be pretty decent out now. The snow kind of subsided a bit, um, but if it's like that on the weekend, I might just you know dig a small trench, maybe half inch deep, and just kind of spread these out, break the seeds open, spread them out, and then just lightly cover them and let them stratify naturally, and hope that is going to bring in the uh, the rose hip maize. So that's what I'm doing with this stuff here, and I just like to show you. My, uh, my mango here is still hanging in there. Uh, I don't think it's getting enough light. I think it needs a lot more light than that. But I had to slow down the water, which is one of the tricks from watching your mildew and stuff and your mold, is watch the amount of water. And I've also been watering it from the bottom. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna let those dry. Hopefully I can get them dry in a month or so. Or what I might do is do the same thing I did with the um, what did I dry last time? The hot peppers is I'm going to turn the oven on to uh, 100 degrees. Uh, I believe that's Fahrenheit because uh, I don't want to cook them. I just want to dry them out. I want them to get a little hard, a little dry so that they're easy. The, the gum on the outside, the organic part of it, the softness is not soft anymore because that's just going to create some type of mold or just any kind of rotting fruit would never be good on your seeds right so that's what we're going to do we're just going to keep doing that and then we're going to get them in the ground so that's me in a nutshell this is my little buddy here i started way back in high school it's my the wooden gargoyle <laughs> and we just put the old grandpa hat on him there and he sits there and keeps me company anyways be safe. See you next week.